Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for September 18th, 2021. We hang on to a tropical air mass through the weekend and into the first half of the work week, keeping showers and a few storms likely at times. Fall-like weather moves in for the end of the work week ahead to welcome us into autumn. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Rain and thunderstorms will be likely throughout the day across central Alabama for your Saturday, with some of the activity becoming heavy at times, especially over the northern half of the state. A flash flood watch is in effect for Colbert, DeKalb, Franklin, Jackson, Lauderdale, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan counties in North Alabama until 7 p.m. on Sunday for the threat of flash flooding due to the rainfall rates and heavier storms potentially reaching over 2 inches per hour. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. Much of the same story for your Sunday. Scattered to numerous showers and storms will be likely throughout the day with heavy rain possible. Once again, some flooding issues may occur over the northern parts of the area. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. And again on Monday, more scattered to numerous showers and storms. Highs in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. A cold front will be approaching the area that will keep showers and thunderstorms likely on Tuesday. Could we see a few strong storms before the front moves through? It's hard to say for now, but one or two cannot be ruled out as we'll have some instability in place. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. By Wednesday afternoon, the front will have moved through the area and much drier air moves in behind it. Showers and storms will end by midday and skies will start to clear out after the frontal passage. Highs will be in the mid 70s to the mid 80s. It will actually start to feel like fall for the first two full days of the season for Thursday and Friday. Skies will be sunny on both days with much lower humidity and temperatures reaching the lower 70s to the lower 80s on Thursday and the mid 70s to the lower 80s on Friday. The tropics remain quite active at this point as we have just passed the peak of the hurricane season as we have a tropical storm located just off the mid-Atlantic coast along with two areas of interest back over the central and eastern Atlantic Ocean. At 4 a.m., Tropical Storm Odette had maximum sustained winds at 45 miles per hour and was moving to the northeast at 15 miles per hour. She will continue to move away from the U.S. mainland and potentially become a post-tropical low later tonight. Rough surf and rip currents can be expected along the New England and Atlantic Canada coasts throughout the weekend. Invest 95L is getting better organized and further development is expected potentially becoming a tropical depression later today or on Sunday. It will approach the northern Leeward Islands on Monday and Tuesday, but conditions will become less friendly to the system and further development will be unlikely. Nearly every member of the latest guidance run has it recurving and staying away from the U.S. mainland. Invest 97L is located around a few hundred miles to the south-southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and is not moving very much at all at this point. Some development is possible as it will generally be moving to the northwest and should stay out over the open waters. That will do it for today's video. We'll have nuts on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have your next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.